motion and time distance time graph you know how to find the distance speed or time from a formula did you know you could also do it with graphs it's interesting and you get to see the values too you know the basics of a graph don't you there's an x axis that is horizontal and the y axis that is vertical the place where they intersect is the origin we mark that as zero if you have been given the values of distance and time which one would you plot on the x axis the one that is independent between distance and time we can say that time is the independent variable so we mark that on the x axis so obviously distance goes on the y axis now start plotting x axis is time and y axis is distance first look up the value of x and then mark the value of y for that x once you have marked all your points connect them does a single straight line pass through all the points if yes then it shows that the motion is uniform what can we do with this distance time graph let's see it has already given you information about whether the motion is uniform or non uniform what will the distance covered be at 40 minutes well we can mark 40 on the x axis then extend the line to cross this x point locate the point on the line that matches with x is equal to 40 minutes so you can calculate the distance Can you calculate the speed? Let's see. What is the speed of the object here? Consider any two time points, say 10 minutes and 30 minutes. Look at the distance for the two points. It is 20 kilometers and 60 kilometers. Speed is equal to distance upon time. Look at the time passed between these points. Here it is 30 minutes minus 10 minutes is equal to 20 minutes. A standard unit of time is seconds. So 20 minutes is equal to 20 multiplied by 60 seconds is equal to 1200 seconds. Look at the distance traveled between these points. Here it is 60 kilometers minus 20 kilometers is equal to 40 kilometers. Convert 40 kilometers to meters. Therefore, 40 multiplied by 1000 meters is equal to 40000 meters. Speed is equal to distance upon time. Therefore, speed is equal to 40000 meters divided by 1200 seconds. Therefore, speed is equal to thirty-three point three three meters per second. Look at this distance time graph. What can you say from it? As you can see, the line is not a straight line, so it is not uniform motion. 
what is happening to the speed? The time intervals on the x-axis are constant. Look at the y values. In the first two seconds, distance is equal to 1 meter. In the next two seconds, distance is equal to 4 meters minus 1 meter is equal to 3 meters. In the next two seconds, distance is equal to 9 meters minus 4 meters is equal to 5 meters. In the next two seconds, distance is equal to 16 meters minus 9 meters is equal to 7 meters. In the next two seconds, distance is equal to 36 meters minus 16 meters is equal to 20 meters. So, in every two seconds, the distance is going on increasing. So, this is increasing speed. Look at this distance time graph. What can you say from it? As you can see, the line is a straight line. So, you can say that it is uniform motion. But wait, what is happening to the distance? The distance is not changing at all. For any moment of time, the distance is the same. That means the object is not changing its position at all. That means the object is at rest. But you can see that the y axis value is not zero. So it tells you that the body is at rest at some distance ahead from the starting point. Look at this distance time graph. What can you say from it? As you can see, the line is a straight line from 0 to 4 seconds. So you can say that it is uniform motion. After that, the line is horizontal. You know what that means. The object is at rest. So, the object has a constant speed from 0 seconds to 4 seconds and then for the next 3 seconds it is at rest. Look at these distance time graphs of two objects. One is in red and one is in blue. What can you say from it? Both lines are straight lines. So you can say that for both the red and blue objects, the speed is constant. So they are both in uniform motion. Which object is moving faster? At any given time, the distance covered by the blue object is more than the red. So the blue is moving faster than the red. Note that the steeper the line, the greater the speed of the object. The blue line is steeper than the red line because the blue line represents an object which is moving faster. You just learned something new. The slope of the distance time graph tells you the speed of the object. What can you make out of this distance time graph? The speed is increasing. How will the graph of an object whose speed is decreasing look like? Zero speed looks like a straight horizontal line. So, the graph should slowly flatten out into a horizontal line. The graph will look like this. What can you make out from this distance time graph? Analyze it in detail. The object starts off at a certain speed. After 4 minutes, it increases in speed and travels at that speed for 2 more minutes. After that, for 4 more minutes, the object is at rest. For 8 minutes after that, 10 minutes to 18 minutes, the object again travels at a constant speed. It is at rest for 8 minutes after that, 18 minutes to 26 minutes. 
After that, for six more minutes, it travels at constant speed. 28 minutes to 34 minutes. What is the average speed of this object? The object travels a total distance of 12 kilometers in 34 minutes. Let's find out the distance it would travel in an hour this way. Therefore, the average speed of the object is 60 multiplied by 12 upon 34 is equal to 21.17 kilometers per hour. So, the average speed of the object is 21.17 kilometers per hour. What can you make out from this distance time graph? It is a straight line. That means the speed is constant. So this is uniform motion. You can see that as the time is increasing, the distance is decreasing. What does that mean? When your dad is returning home from a different town and you call him and ask him, Where are you? He says, I'm 50 kilometers away. Then you call him again after some time and ask him, Where are you? He says, I'm 20 kilometers away. How did the distance decrease? Your dad is actually travelling the whole time, so the distance that he has travelled is increasing. But the reference point is your home and his distance from home is decreasing. So the object is coming back to the starting point. Now, can you interpret this distance time graph? Yes, it shows that the object is coming back to the starting point with uniform speed. If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.